YouTube, this is MTP Flyers with a long overdue unboxing of the Spec Pixel Skin. And I've heard nothing but good about this, and I've never actually tried this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one of my rapid videos here where we go ahead and unbox it, throw it on. I go ahead and just give my first impressions, and then I will come back a couple days later and we'll splice them together. And you guys get to see an unboxing and review all in one shot. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I guess the best way to open this up is at the bottom. And yes, I do have my knife. So, we'll open it up right there. While I'm doing this, I want to give a shout out to Carlos. It's me, Morpheus. He's having some back issues, if you guys saw on his uh, Los's vlogging channel. He's, uh, he's pretty bummed out, so I gave him a call today just to kind of cheer him up a little bit and, you know, let him know that I'm here for him. And I'm, I'm sure you guys have done that in his video already. But, you know, stop by it. I'll throw his link up there on the side. You know, he does seem bummed. Hey, your support is really important to him, and it does make him feel good when he has a lot of nice comments to read. And it does kind of get him going when you kind of slam a little bit, so he enjoys that, I think, too. But why don't we take it easy on him, guys, and, you know, wish him well. And hopefully everything goes okay with them. But that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to get all mushy on them because I just try to pick on them as much as possible. Got to cheer him up, you know. He's a happy-go-lucky guy, and I hate to see him like that. So anyway, on to this blueberry-looking blue purplish case. Ooh, this is actually cool looking. Guys, I've never tried this before. This is actually really cool. Of course, I did them on the... Nano 4G's, and it was really cool looking. So, no case, um, screenshot, I should say, with it. There is a little bit of speckle in there. But if you notice right off the bat, I wish they, I don't know, maybe it would just be like any other case, but they did this little bottom here with your button on that. And I know that that's going to be like a little dust collector. So, I did clean my phone. So, at this point, I guess because you have that bottom piece there, I'll go ahead and throw the corners in here. Because it is so flexible, you could pretty pretty much start anywhere you want on there to throw that in. The bottom is completely open. You know, you've got... You know what? I do like that, I guess, a little bit because it gives it a little more sturdiness to the bottom here so you're not, you're not so flimsy. And I hate to do this, guys, right now. I'm really sorry, but give me one second. Yo! No bark! <whistles> Samantha! No barking! Yeah, because that's gonna help. I give her like five seconds before she starts barking again. Anyway, the hole is lined up. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> it is lined up. Sort of. I guess it could be better. It, you see that? I'm like kind of pushing it. It just keeps going back to where it wants to go. I guess that looks okay. I don't think it's gonna really be impeding in your in your picture taking and whatnot. And look, I left a test on there from one of the other video. Now, let's take a look. Yeah, you're good. There's nothing blocking your way there. So, Cool. All right. You do have your rocker panels. Panels. Your rocker buttons covered. They do have the little cut, the little button cut up or push out so you can do that. Nice little nubs on there so you know that you have your top and your bottom. Your silencer is pretty easy to reach. I've got small hands small fingers, so somebody with some bigger fingers might have a problem getting into that. But it does go down there pretty far, so it doesn't impede you when you're trying to get a, the button back on there to do that. Your on-off switch is completely covered, and your headphone jack is way down inside there. Look at that. Whew, that's a lot of protection, let me tell you. Uh, I don't know if any bigger headphones might have an issue getting in there. I'll have to double check and take a look at that. So, alright guys, this is my first impressions. It's a nice case, you know? It has a little bit of bulk to it. I don't know how it's going to be in the pocket, so we shall see. I'm going to use this this week on my vacation, and I will get back to you guys probably on Sunday. You know what? I might actually do it from the phone while I'm up there. Guys, this is MTP Flyers, and I will be right back on the flip side.
is let's say like a Capsule Neo or something that's got a little more slick back on it. And I tell you what, man, this thing attracts dirt and everything on it. Constantly cleaning it off from the lint in your pocket and everything. But you know what? It, all in all, it isn't a bad case. I think I'm going to use this as like a throw-on case or something. It's actually pretty nice when it comes to that. It's got in the area so the camera shut off but like I was saying before having this extra piece down here actually makes it a lot firmer for the bottom piece than it typically would be on a on a case that is more rubbery than than used to you know than, than we're typically used to seeing like uh, you know the switch easy colors how the bottom might sag a little bit or uh, maybe like the rebel might sag a bit at the bottom there because it's completely open there. So anyway guys, I give this like a solid 8, eight 9 out of 10. This is a really nice case. I enjoy using it and I'm probably going to be using it even more. So if you guys saw a little bit of what we're doing, I'm going to kind of pick these back up here and back on the lake today. Today is Sunday. We're uh, going to be out here for a little bit. We're going to the Altoona Bird game tonight. Stay tuned. This is MTV Flyers. I'll talk to you guys later.